Hey guys, welcome to my fourth tutorial on SRE. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll discuss about incident management and retrospective and postmortems. Uh, in, the, in the previous few tutorials, I'll discuss about the complete uh, overview of SRE and all the principles of SRE, everything uh, in detail with real world examples by showing uh, how FinTech will perform and how FinTech is taking care of SLS, SLOs, everything. If you didn't watch the previous three tutorials, uh, I'll post the description, uh, the playlist, I'll post the playlist in the description, you can watch those things. Okay, let's get into the uh, let's get into the video. Incident management uh, is basically managing if uh, management if something happened wrong in production, and that that thing we need to handle in the retrospective. Uh, we need to handle the retrospective. Basically, the retros are nothing but uh, it's a kind of meeting uh, which will handle for every sprint or every release. It based on the based on it's it uh, based on companies like. Uh, uh, after some release, we need to discuss about what went well, uh, what can be improved, and what are the action items. These are nothing but uh, incident management and other retrospective and uh, postmortems. Sharing and taking responsibility and blameless retrospective. We will know the definitions of each and everything in detail in the next slide. Okay, first talk. First, we we'll talk about incident model and observability. First thing is. Uh, First thing is like uh, how we are, how we'll observe the system for, uh, for 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 to 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 notify the incident how we should observe the system. The first and key thing is like we need to automate everything. We need to automate alerts, logs. Like uh, if any exceptions happened, if any errors have happened in the system, we need to we need to alert. We need to logging everything in the either in the dashboards like. Uh, um, uh, like Grafana, Kibana, these kind of dashboards. Mm. Uh, like uh, problem report, like a uh, root cause. We need to identify. We need to get the root cause, track trace from which service got impacted uh, while traversing from one service to another. How it got performed. Everything should be uh, alerted and logged. The next thing is like uh, SLO breach. Like uh, basically, SLOs are categorized based on uh, company specifications. Like I've some companies are mostly focused on availability like latency or reliability everything and we need to do document everything we need to, we need to record from uh, dashboards how our uh, how our slos are performing and final thing is in uh, uh, in all in dashboards itself we need to see the metrics and also traces suppose uh, for for one customer we need to assign one trace id one tracing one tracing like uh, that's called the hash key which is unique to the customer and uh, that customer uh, and we need to with the help of that customer if something happened badly we got alert okay this uh, with this trace id we got we, we got some error in production so we will quickly look into the dashboards like uh, for, for example kibana is the best uh, uh, tool uh, to check the logs to check the traces so we'll get from uh, Beginning of the customer uh, request to ending, which service got impacted, everything should be uh, traced with the help of logs in Kibana. So ex uh, what we are expected and what we actually uh, got from a got from a customer and uh, why it happened, everything should be uh, should be logged. So this is like basically observability incident model. Uh, so yeah, this is the main advantage. Observability makes easy for uh, easy by dashboarding everything. Suppose we need to monitor our APIs, we need to monitor our database uh, utilization. Suppose if there is more customer base, uh, uh, like uh, like suppose you, uh, you are, uh, if you are a social networking uh, site, it, it popular in, in overnight, the customer suddenly, uh, the customers are increased uh, the, in, a, in a tremendous way. Then we need to do something like horizontal scaling or vertical scaling. Uh, that CPU utilization, okay. We uh, will give, uh, like we will give some, uh, uh, let's say uh, we'll give one GB of uh, one GB of uh, uh, capacity for one API. So because of overhead of the customers, it got increased. It got it getting crossed at the one GB. Then all the uh, then all the requests which we'll get obviously will fail, will blocked. So these things we need to manage. But how we can manage if we have the uh, if we have if we have some threshold which. If something got uh, exceed in CPU seventy percent, then then we need to throw the alert to the um, alert to dev team or SRE team, so they can quickly do they can quickly look into that. Okay, okay, customers are increasing increasing. So if we configured a horizontal vertical scaling, uh, it's completely fine. 
suppose we have if we didn't have auto uh, if we didn't have any scaling options in our open in our uh, in our cloud then we need to okay then we need to increase the capacity uh, like vertical scaling or else uh, we need to do horizontal scaling uh, based on that analysis analysis getting from dashboard the next we talk about incident management uh, this is nothing but process of declaring incidents something happened we need to we need to we need to bring up that particular incident with the team and need to discuss with them uh, in the retro like dashboard for viewing current incidents so we need to have some kind of dashboards generally uh, i'll show the some some sample dashboards uh, the dashboards you can view uh, basically dashboards depends on company suppose it's some, some small project uh, team uh, they can they can instead of dashboard they can do manually like every incident in, in like excel cd or or you can do some uh, you can you can design some dashboard uh, kind of uh, what do you call it? dashboard kind of uh, site which will which you can track the incidents uh, or you can use some idea boards everything and also if something happened wrong right we need to we need to communicate the respective uh, respective team like uh, other cloud team or uh, a data center team everything so we need to have database on whom to contact for each kind of incidents so basically how the incident got communicated like control coordinate and communicate for for, a, for for one particular project we have incident commander who is uh, responsible uh, for taking care of all the incidents in the in our project uh, incident com incident incident commander uh, the communication if something bad happened the communication lead, lead uh, will say the incident commander okay this thing happened the incident commander will uh, responsible to share the views with the ops responsible to discuss the things with the ops lead like uh, um, for quick fix so this is the basically uh, architecture this is the basically uh, sharing the responsibility uh, and also communicating the uh, communicating uh, everything from uh, to to based on severity levels this everything ha will be handled by the incident commander with the help of a communication lead and also ops lead if, suppose if you have some other like if you are e-commerce side we have stakeholder like logistics lead logistics lead also there they can, he can responsible like a, like a, how our uh, delivery partners are performing well uh, in banking we have only ops lead operations lead uh, and also communications lead which is the like, uh, like communication nothing but ma mailing if something happened in the prod they should, they should uh, communicate with the incident commander and he will take care about uh, to resolve the issue to highlight into the team oh like summary is like uh, um, sres will be documented the incident uh, and will do the post mortem at in, in the in the in the retro let's talk about incident model in detail first we have triage get uh, like uh, we need to find the root cause like uh, as soon as possible next we need to last uh, like like uh, we need to get back the next thing is examine we need to understand the problem okay this okay uh, customer and impacted here so we need to analyze we need to analyze by using metrics dashboards we need to observe okay what happened wrong what went wrong by tracing and log and logs next we need to diagnose like finding the possible cause after examining the problem and either we uh, okay okay solutions if something happened in the memory kind of thing either we need to horizontally scale or vertically scale like uh, we need to follow vertical path or horizontal path the next thing is shortlist all causes okay these all okay if something happened in the code you need to shortly you need to prioritize okay they, uh, based on this because of this service uh, because of some time complexity uh, customer will face like 404 like uh, our connection got break between customer and uh, our between customer and our service uh, and also we need to text identify the problem probable cause re recreate workflow in our uh, uh, like recreate workflow in our dev, env dev environment basically in like top companies uh, they use like SIT environment UIT environment prod if something happened in prod they quickly the, do the same thing in the UIT which is like replica of prod if, some, if UIT is good that, that should uh, and then, then, then we are expecting prod is also good so we will recreate the entire workflow in the UIT 
uh, and we need to trace db calls network routes how how our apis are routing how how we getting the responses and how the db calling happened everything we need to replicate recreate entire workflow what customer impacted in the uat environment and we need to document everything uh, what are the issues we get so in the cure we fix the problem document the solution this should not be happen in the future generally we document the solution in the confluence pages like uh, we mitigate the system and monitor we need to monitor again we need to monitor after after fixing the problem so blameless post mortems okay what systems are affected in, uh, like uh, suppose there are 10 microservices are there uh, suppose there is a communication uh, uh, communication should not happen between uh, from one service to micro, one uh, another service because uh, there is more uh, more overload mm. we need to find what systems are affected and uh, we need to take care about who was involved in uh, uh, who was involved in responding and who should we co- contact and how did we find out about that event and uh, when we did and did we start responding okay if there is very sl issue it's like company's revenue problem uh, is getting uh, stakeholders are impacting lot then we need to respond it's like sl sl uh, uh, sl severity generally uh, the responding is based on severity level it's like very urgent like it's like business import we need to respond in no time like uh, like hardly 5 to 10 minutes it's like uh, some urgent uh, it's like as to we need to get like a uh, one day within one day or it's like minimal impact uh, uh, as three or like it uh, like based on s1 s2 s3 s4 based on that we need to categorize uh, from after prioritizing all the errors from from which error we need to respond first uh after after uh, like here we need to so cure right after queue do the mitigated one uh, uh, did we deploy when when to deploy because uh, when to de- when did we do hot fix the particular change which will impact the more customers uh when did the incident conclude okay uh when did we, we, we say okay this incident is not happening in future based on the uh, experience from uh, after releasing the particular incident based on experience like after 2 to 2 to 3 months okay uh, the same customer is not facing any issue other customer also not facing this kind of issue then we can conclude this incident is not happened then we can uh, close that issue and we need to keep the solution in the confluence like uh, basically like glacier kind of thing in like old arc- archives in future we can uh, just analyze the, analyze those things if something happened bad like basically the post mortem goals is like document the incident and resolution identify root cause and fix it as soon as possible uh, based on severity levels and like formal documentation which drafted by sre is used to usually document the things uh, review and publish the process the same process will be applicable to other uh, other result, other incidents also like continuous improvement uh, like suppose uh, in a team there five members if some someone uh, uh, did something which by bad it's like wrong happened uh we should not blame mm. it should be blame free when 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 the retrospective or the handle uh we should not take okay based on this case based on this person we got something bad uh, here we need to take the responsibility because when we are pushing anything to the code uh we need to we, generally we, it happen code reviews the code reviewer also is one kind of responsibility when we when, when merging to the release branch from in bit bucket and the everything should be in a constructive way so it's kind of one kind of dashboard which i say i i'll show in the next slide eh? this is the slide uh, like you should record okay uh, i'm suppose there are scheduled routine failovers like uh, something happened assigned to this person he fixed it now uh, when, when it got created and the same thing they have another checkbox is, is it resolved or still customers are facing after after fixing also what went well or what can be improved by this way we need to track other thing which we which we are following is like in, in our organization we call we are following like idea boards after every sprint uh, we will will uh, will use this one for retro we'll divide this one into three one is like uh, what went well for to appreciate in the team members so what can be improved here we will uh, uh, like for suppose this is like what didn't well right this can be we we'll call as what can be improved here we'll track everything okay uh this can be improved this is like a toil this can be improved and uh, this is like successfully released but uh, uh we need to scale uh, we need to scale by testing in uat environment and uh, like some 5 to 6 uh uh 5 to 6 uh things are there we need to improve 
and for for uh, improvement we need to identify action items okay uh, for, okay to this to this improvement uh, uh we need to write the action item how can it be improved and who is the who is the responsible to make sure that will not happen in the future of once it will fix let's say this is called like action items okay action items what lessons we learned and uh, timeline of this action item and who is the date date which date when we created this action item and who is the author like oh, the person is the responsible it should not uh, to uh, to fix the particular thing the next thing is reviewer like generally it's like uh, declared is the responsible for uh, review the review thing it should not it should not happen in the future the next thing is incident commander uh, he also responsible uh, to check everything uh, to went well uh, so these things will be take care like a problem summary uh, lessons learned and what are the wrong things you need to do action item and for the action item we need to timeline we need to do timeline this action item is toil because we need to do again we need to do the to, to, to do that work uh, it should not happen in future and this is like a strategic toil uh, so in data so in uh, so the particular person is responsible for everything uh, one particular action item so for every release we have some four to five action items we need to take care we need to assign to different developers so that finally uh, in the next release we'll push all these things to, uh, in the next release if it, if it is in the code mistakes if, if it is not if it, if it is infrastructure mistakes uh, we'll uh, we'll try to handle the, in the next meeting in the next meeting we should say okay we are, we should say the, the status of the action items and also is it completed or is it ongoing like this like the best example is like sli sli and slos and error budget and toils the finally the ops mode is like uh, if something bad very if something bad happened uh, our sli is getting free, breached every time then we need to uh, then uh, sre has a capable uh, to freeze the code okay stop deployments uh, we need to look into the design issues first thing we sre will take care is like balance your mode respect the time of the respect the time of the team uh, how we, how the team is uh, working to deliver the projects which agreed by business at the same time the sri should respect the customer expectations also if, if day by day the uh, apis are increasing uh, api features are increasing customer are expecting lot from us so we need to we need to ready for to face all the situations so at last so i'm i'm summarizing everything in the happened in the incident management first thing is incident commander should focus uh, um, should be should should track all the incident what happened in the prod so ops lead should focus on the investigation and comms lead should inform stakeholders okay please wait uh, okay because of this feature uh, some suppose we are doing forex trading right forex conversions okay based on some other service we are not getting uh, rates to convert uh, this amount so please bear with us we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll fix this soon so incident commander ops lead or comms lead is the main main team main part main uh, person is responsible for the incident management next is investigative model we already discussed about triage examine diagnose and then test and then cure for and then we and then we produce the output the post model should be blameless should be sharing the responsibility and aiming for continuous improvement uh, like every retro we need to update the status of the action item and finally the operations overload like managing on on calls and overloads <coughs> sorry so yeah that sum up with complete sre i think you got the complete overview about what is sre and what is like a sla slos and error budget uh, toil risk tolerance incident management everything so these are the four modules which i prepared for you to understand the complete overview of sre and how you should implement the sre in your day in your uh, in your companies in your day to day life if you are a startup how you can adopt this sre for a better uh, governance in, at, at the beginning at the beginning of time itself if you are companies uh, if you are not following sre if you are uh, like how you can implement the sre in your uh, in your think sre so basically is like example of high level engineering you can do in like uh, in in a uh, uh you, you can do any any way you can you you can with the help of these principles you can convert any work into sre sre kind of way yeah that's it for today's tutorial and uh, next tutorial i will explain something called uh, key takeaways of sre as, as a developer things developer concern in uh, in project uh, while developing uh, while architecturing everything 
so this is like bonus tip for a developer and this is not for a developer everyone can watch this video uh first thing is if you like this video please subscribe uh, and thumbs up uh, for the next videos yeah thank you guys and that's it for this today bye bye